everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Kelly and this is Brooklyn and today we're going to be doing a palette review hmm I don't think that's what I'm doing uh, but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start by showing you some of my palettes and somewhere in this video I'm not sure where you will see a secret word to enter possibly one or more giveaways so the issue is me and collecting palettes. Yes. I didn't get that. Could you try again? That's Siri thinking I'm talking to her. No. I'm not talking to you, Siri. Okay. So I am a collector of palettes. I get them, I look at them, and I'm like, oh, this is pretty. And then I put it inside a drawer. Big giant drawer. And uh then I don't get to that palette ever again it's just so what I want to do today is kind of look at my palettes kind of reevaluate what I have this is just part one of maybe a three or four uh, kind of series that I'm going to be doing so kind of wanted my glasses for this oh I see them let me get my glasses for them. okay I'm back so in the process of getting my glasses I tipped over my my sign there so anyway I'm back so Let's go ahead and start with this one, the Trifle Cosmetics Fruit Punch Palette. I honestly don't even remember what this looks like. So let me check it out. Here's what this looks like. I've never once used it. Do I anticipate that I'm ever gonna use it? No, I don't. I don't anticipate that I'm going to be using this ever. So, in the comments below, if you like the Fruit Punch palette, go ahead and put in a sentence the words Fruit Punch for no particular reason. All right, here is a blush palette. Let me see what this looks like. Okay, these are the shades in the blush palette. I think I might go ahead and keep this one. I like that one. So let's see what this looks like. Mora Daydreams Dream Series Palette. Now, as you guys might know, uh, those of you that have watched me in the past, I don't usually ever swatch the palettes when I get them because of this reason. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use it. So. That's why I, I don't know, before I open these, I don't know if they've been swatched or used. So let's just check it out. All right, this one has not been swatched or used. The Moira palette. I think I might hold on to this a little while longer. There are some colors in there that I think I might use. I don't know, I might come back to that one. It's a possibility that it's gotta go. All right, and then th this one is a Violet Voss, All of You Forever. Okay, so let's check this one out. Check out the colors. Here's the colors. Never been used. I think I'll, I'll keep a hold of this one. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. So if you want this one, please leave in the comments down below the word, the words daydreams. It has to be daydreams. I need to know which palette that the people want. So daydreams, if you are interested in winning this palette, please put the word daydreams in a sentence down below. Keep in mind, if you want to enter for more than one, that's perfectly fine with me. So again, I'm giving away so far the fruit punch, and the Daydreams palette. All right, let's see what this is. A So Susan Cosmetics Perennial Palette. This is a creamy lip palette. Brooklyn. Brooklyn wants to see all of this. All right, so here's the lip palette. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I do like the colors. This one I'm gonna keep. Brooklyn thought she saw something out of the corner of her eye at the door, but I sure don't see anyone over there as I'm looking. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. 
So this is a Crescent Moon palette. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, these are multi-chrome glitters. I don't do a whole lot of glitters. I love the, the multi-chrome I love the multi-chrome idea, but when I go to use glitter or anything, I have so much glitter on my face. I still have glitter on my face from yesterday from putting a little bit in, uh, on my eyes and it just fell all over my face. And I do use glitter glue, but once you get the glitter and it comes down here onto your makeup that's already on your face, it kind of sticks. So I have a problem with glitter, but I really like the idea of multi-chrome. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this for just a little bit longer. Again, I might change my mind in a, in a second. Okay, this is a Complex Culture Good Glow Blush Duo. So let me see what this looks like. So as I'm opening it, it looks like this. Then I remove this. Okay, those are pinky shades. So I think I will keep it. I know one of them may have looked a little orangey on the camera, but it is pink. So I think I'm gonna hold on to that one. Here is one called Be uh, Carter Beauty by Marissa Carter. And this is a Cupid Blusher Palette, another blusher palette. And here is what this looks like. So because I already have some blushing palettes, I'm going to go ahead and give this one away. So if you are interested in the Cupid palette, please put the word Cupid in a sentence down below. All right. Then we're going to move on to this Ditto Venus palette, limited edition. Don't know what it looks like. Let's check it out. Oh boy, okay, so it looks like this. Are those colors that I would ever use? No. Do I really like the palette? Yes. But I'll never use this. I will never use this. I will not be reaching for this. So this is called Ditto, D-I-T-O. So just put in the comments below in a sentence if you like the Ditto palette or Dido, I'm not sure which. I remember Ditto's, um, the jeans, when I was a kid. Wasn't it called Ditto's? I think so. Anyway, here is a Glam Babe Trend Beauty palette. Let's see what this looks like. Ah, yikes, okay, so this is a palette that I have not used. Well, wait a second. Okay, wait a second. I can't say that for sure because it does look like a couple of them have been either swatched or a brush has been in them. When did I use this? I have no idea. So I guess it's mine. Although I really don't see myself using it, I have obviously used it at one point, so I guess this is mine. I don't know. I mean, if you guys think that you can clean it up enough or whatever, if you want the Glam, the Glam Babe palette that looks like it may have been touched, you uh, can go ahead and put that in your comments down below, Glam Babe. So I'm gonna put that as a giveaway. However, if you guys don't want it, I understand. It looks like I have gotten into it a little bit. Okay, now here is a Nomad Venice Simplin Express palette. Let's see what this looks like. Still has the screensaver here, as do I think all of them. Here's what this, oh, it doesn't have a mirror anyway. But here's what this looks like. This is kind of questionable to me because I really like that green color. Uh, and this pink looks like it could be a very pretty blush color. I don't know. Uh, 
The majority of this palette, I have to say, I would not use. So, again, Venice is your word if you would like to win this Venice Simplin Express palette. Put the word Venice in the comments down below in a sentence format, please. This is an Ace Beauté Scarlet Dusk palette. I think I just received this from uh, Ice Cream Beauty, wasn't it? Or, or So Susan, I'm not really sure which. But here is the colors of this palette. A lot of pinks. Uh, I don't know if I would use this. A lot of pinks, it looks like some oranges and some dark mauve colors. So I did a, a video a while back where uh, I was wearing pink eyeshadow. And although I did use a couple different pinks in the eyeshadow look, it looked like I had one eyeshadow color on. By the time I did my video, rewatched it, I posted the video anyway, but it looked awful. It, I mean, I cannot do a pink eye. I just can't, no matter what I do, it just looks awful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one up for grabs too. The Ace Beauté Scarlet Dusk Palette. So I guess you can use the word dusk, D-U-S-K, in the comments down below if you wanted to win this dusk palette. Now, I'm gonna say something really quick. A lot of us creators, meaning us YouTube people that put out videos, have caught on to some cheaters. And what we mean by cheaters or scammers as they are otherwise known as, they create different names for themselves, different channels for themselves, and then they enter everyone's giveaways under multiple names. Now, have I fallen victim to sending this person a giveaway or two? Yes, in fact, two that I know of for sure that I can remember. I'm not gonna name any names because it's already come up in a live that I just watched last night uh, and it's come up in another uh, video that I saw, but I'm not going to participate in telling everyone the names of people. All I know is that person has since deleted her Instagram account and apparently is making up a whole bunch of new names from what I understand. So. We have to be very careful. I have to be very careful who I send these giveaways to. On that note, if you are drawn as a winner for one of these palettes and I find out by another YouTuber or by somebody else that you are a scammer, I reserve the right to withdraw your name from this particular giveaway, even if I draw your name from this particular giveaway and all of my future giveaways. So if you are a scammer, be aware that it's not going to work for long. May work for me, you know, six months, maybe a year. I think for the YouTuber I'm talking about that scammed a lot of us, uh, it worked for, wow, I think she's been on for a good, since I started my channel, at least a couple years. So yeah, it worked for her for a couple years. I just can't believe it, but it did. So yeah, I don't know. I don't appreciate it. None of us do. So if you are a scammer, just beware. It'll come up sometime. If you have multiple uh, names with the same address or multiple names with the same apartment complex, just different apartments. I mean, this kind of thing really draws attention, really, really makes us, you know, wonder what's going on. The, the lady I'm talking about, she had two names and when I questioned her a long time ago about it, she said that the other name was her mother. And if it's okay if her and her mother enter the giveaways. And at that time I was kind of new and I'm like, okay, I didn't really appreciate it, but okay. So I, I agreed. And then come to find out she's got about four or five other names and it just angered a lot of us. It really did. I suspected it a long time ago and I should have should have totally just canceled her out of all my other giveaways canceled is not the word I'm looking for but you know what I mean I should have just disqualified her just because I, I just had that thought 
And I always, always draw my names out of a bucket. I never use the random comment picker uh, and it's just the way I do things. So if that person does enter any of my giveaways in the future, they will not be put in my little bucket. All right, so all the giveaway rules will be in the description box down below. Now, will I draw all the winners at one time? No, I cannot ship all these palettes to different people all at one time. It costs too much money. Just to ship one palette and a card that says thank you in an envelope costs about five bucks. So I cannot ship one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pallets uh, for $5 all in the same day. I'm not gonna do it. So this will be sporadic, okay? And you just have to look for my video that says, did you win my giveaway? I'm probably gonna put in the title of this video that is a pallet giveaway review uh, or pallet giveaway, uh, but I will not be drawing all the names at once. So if you are interested in any of these palettes, please go ahead and use the words that I've said in the video uh, to use in the sentence down below. And I don't wanna keep repeating myself, but you have to live in the United States. I cannot ship these overseas. I can't, and I'm really sorry. I know if you have ever gone to Charmaine's Staycation is the name of her channel. I'll link it down below. But she is out of the United States and she ships all over. I don't know how she can afford it, but she I does it. Could you try again? Siri thinks I'm talking to her again. I'm not. I nope. didn't get that. Could you try again? I don't know if you guys can hear that. She just keeps saying, I didn't get that. Can you try again? So United States only, you have to be 18. Unless you're one of my daughter's friends, I know that a lot of her friends, uh, not a lot, but a few of them do watch my videos every now and then. So if you want to enter, you can. And please believe me, I show no preference to anybody. So if you are not one of my daughter's friends and you enter and some of my daughter's friends are entering, I show no preference. Your names will all go in the bucket and it'll be a fair chance for everybody. Trust me, please trust me, I'm serious. I, I really am serious. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know. Anyway, so what else? 18 or over, unless you're one of my daughter's friends, must live in the United States, you must be subscribed to me. You have to be publicly subscribed to me. Do you guys know what it means to be publicly subscribed? I know that there are some videos on YouTube to show you how to become publicly uh, subscribed uh, to make your um, channels that you watch uh, to make them visible to where I can push your name and see my picture come up on your page. So if you don't know how to do that, please just look up uh, in the, on Google or whatever, a video on how to make your channels public. And what else? What else do I usually say? You have to be subscribed, live in the United States, use the appropriate word or words down in the comments down below. What else? I don't know, I'm looking over at my daughter. I know I may have, oh yeah, if it gets lost, stolen, or damaged, I cannot, once it leaves my hands, I can't replace it, you guys. I'm not gonna go and buy another Carter Beauty Cupid palette for you if this comes to you broken or if it never gets to you at all, which has never happened, really. So, I, I won't, I, I can't. Um, what else? If you're allergic to any of the formula, I can't be held liable for any allergic reactions to any of this stuff. So make sure you do a patch test or whatever you need to do. I never do patch tests. I just full on use the product. But uh, if you want to, be aware that you should, because uh, I will not be held liable if you have any allergic reaction to any of this. And Everything else will be my description box. I'm sure it will be, I'll make sure. Again, when am I gonna draw the winners? Whenever you see, uh, in you know, whenever you see something that says winner chosen or did you win my giveaway or palette giveaway winner announced or I don't know what I'm gonna name it, I really don't, but I have a piece of hair like right here that's really bugging me. 
it's probably been there this whole video and you guys are probably seeing it. I don't see it, but yeah, it's still there, isn't it? Anyway, so that's it. Anyway, if you made it to this very last sentence, put a heart emoji. I was gonna think of something else because that's what I had on my one of my last giveaway videos. Put a heart emoji along with all your sentences that you're gonna use. And that is a requirement as well. So if you didn't make it this far and you don't put a heart emoji, it's not my problem. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but I wanna make sure people are watching my full videos. Usually my videos are only about five minutes long. This one happens to be 20, 21 minutes long so far. So if you're not watching the whole thing, I am sorry. So a heart emoji at the end, please. And um, that'll do it. So everyone, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this long video and have a great, great day. Thank you so much. Bye.